special tribute to the Packers' Super Bowl victory in Ashwaubenon. Bay Park Square features a massive sand sculpture and Lee's sculpture, sculpture, I should say. Mark Mason joins us now live with more. Hi, Mark. How you doing? I'm doing great. We're here at Bay Park Square Mall in front of 50 tons of sand. 50 tons? How do you get it in there? 50 tons. Yeah, that was a popular question. Big display doors open up and a front end loader came and dropped it right after the game finished up uh, and you guys you guys beat the Steelers on Sunday. So have you been working on this all week so far? You know, we flew in Monday and started it Tuesday. We'll work on it through Friday. And then it will be on display indefinitely afterwards. Can you give us some of the tricks of the trade, how you keep the sand together and how you sculpt it just so? Sure, our sand secrets. It's everything you did as a child, packing sand into a bucket, turning it upside down, tapping the edges and pulling it off, except we do it on a, on a grander scale. That bucket is really plywood pieces of formwork that surround uh, elements of sand that we shovel in maybe a, a few layers at a, a few uh, inch layers at a time. And then you can see how square this was with the wood around it. It would make more sense, but we pack sand inside that wood and then took the nails out, the wood opens up, and we've got a solid block of sand that we carve into that holds together even when it dries. Wow. Now, how long have you been doing this, Mark? I mean, how long have you been sculpting sand? You know, it's been my living for 20 years. And the story goes, 14 years ago, when the Packers were in the Super Bowl again, uh, we got a call, come to Bay Park Square Mall. We got, we're in the Super Bowl. This is all exciting. Make a sand sculpture for us. So fast forward 14 more years, and we, all, we both the, the same mall marketing manager, Amy, uh, and I had the same idea. We got, we got in touch on the same day and put this together. So tell us, if, the, just, can you describe this year's uh, sculpture, what you're putting into it? Sure. Well, we've got the 45, which represents this year's, but the uh, Vince Lombardi trophy, the American flag behind it. We've got a player in his Green Bay helmet. We've got one of your Super Bowl rings. We don't know what the new one's going to look like, so we're doing one of your classic Super Bowl rings here. Larry's working away on uh, writing it in and putting facets in the diamonds. Um, we didn't have likenesses for the players. They're a little bit busy right now. We're going to do their jerseys and their numbers and their names on the, on the other side of the sculpture, but we, uh, we did do a cheese head and threw, a, and threw a little mascot dog underneath there. <laughs> I love it. We've got some other things coming in. Um, we'll work on it the rest of today and tomorrow. So you're really looking at two days of work, and we'll put two more days into it. So there'll be a lot out here at Bay Park Square Mall. Fantastic. Thanks so much for sharing it with us and some of your sand secrets. And we'll be sure to stop by the mall in the next couple of days to see it all finished. Please do. It's a performance art uh, through Friday and then displaying this weekend on. Great. Thanks, Mark. See ya.